Hello guys, Jamil here with Dealers Gear. Today I'm gonna share with you the uh, new changes that have been done to the Mannheim.com platform and how to use Mannheim and, and how to search for cars, buy the cars, and manage the cars that you buy afterwards. So we're gonna go uh, uh, step by step uh, how to search for the cars and how to uh, manage your workbook and create your workbook. And if you have any question, you can give us a call at 949-923-0190, or you can drop us a line at support at dealersgear.com. Would love to give you any answer, any help that's related to uh, buying cars online. So um, the first thing we're gonna go here, uh, this is the home page. After you log in, this is what you see. If you want a quick search for a certain vehicle, you click, let's say, Honda Civic, and you click enter this the, the search bar here. It's the quickest way to actually search for a, ve a vehicle. After you search for the Honda uh, Civic, it shows you how many vehicles are in the auction nationwide. So the first thing you see here in the cars cards, you see the year, make, model. Underneath, you see the VIN number, odometer, the uh, engine size and the CR, which is a condition report. The condition report goes from zero to five, uh, with five being the best condition, zero the worst condition. So this is the MMR, which is the average price of the vehicle at the auction. And uh, if you wanna add this car instantly to your workbook, which is like, let's say tomorrow is the auction, you wanna prepare your workbook, I advise you to actually do your workbook a day or two days before so you have an idea and you will be ready to actually buy the cars if you want to buy online because you gotta be careful when buying online so this is the vehicle if you want to add it to the workbook you click add to workbook instantly or if you want to go to the vdp which is the vehicle detail page of that vehicle you click on it this is the vehicle right here they even added the 360 uh, feature where you can see all over the car. So here it says buy now price at 19,600 start and bid. So you can bid on it before actually it goes to the auction. And if the seller likes your bid, he might sell it for cheaper than 19,6. So here it shows you the seller and the reviews of the seller 2.3, which is very poor. And the uh, exterior color and the MMR it says unavailable. So here it's, uh, it shows the CR is at four, which is decent, it's good. There's comments here from the seller and this is basically the VDP. So if you like this car, it's already added to the workbook. If I go back, since we search nationwide, if you wanna like filter your search to a certain state, we are in California, so I'm gonna go ahead and just search for Honda Civics in California, so I choose the auctions that are related. Uh, 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 I, I will choose the auctions that they are in California. So let's click here. It's one, two, three, four, five Mannheims in California. You click update, and now you see all the cars that they are uh, the Honda Civic that are in uh, California at the auction Mannheim auctions. Uh, if you want to do more filtering, you have here the years. You go down here, you see if they are in lane, Mannheim Express, Mannheim, Mannheim Express, it's something that they just came up with a few months ago where you can, people can actually list their cars that they are at their car lot on Mannheim. Uh, you just request somebody to come, they take the picture and they put it, they make a CR, put it online. If you sell it, you send it to the auction and boom, it's sold. It's called Mannheim Express. So you have the OBE, which is uh, the online platform of selling your cars to. So people can go and see if you wanna sell your cars on OBE, you can list them. That's another video we have to talk about the selling parts. The simulcast is basically uh, the, um, it's the platform or the channel that Mannheim used to sell online simulcasts. Now I'll show you how it looks like when you click to actually enter sale. When you click enter sale, you will get a window 
So now it's not shown here. Let's see another window. If I click enter sale, you choose the account you want to use to bid with. And now this is how the simulcast will come. Okay. This is basically the lay and now it's a close. So you didn't see anybody and the auctioneer usually is sitting here. This is the tab where you click while bidding. Wait, do not rush because sometimes if you make a mistake, you cannot reverse it. So make sure all the information here matches the information on your workbook. Print out the workbook, make it right in front of you to make sure that everything is matching and you're not making a mistake. So this is how to buy a line from the simulcast. So if you wanna search for like the inventory for an auction nearby, you come to buy and go down to pre-sale inventory, which is the in-lane inventory. The closest uh, auction will be on Tuesday, so Manheim Riverside, click on it. And this is how it looks like, like before you navigate to the car. So there's the list of all vehicles this date, it's 2,577, and click on it. And you get this view, which is the, uh, there is a standard view of the list of the cars, and there is the enhanced format. The enhanced format will show you the CR, and will show you the odometer and the color here, and the VIN number. So you can filter by make, model, year, condition, engine, transmission, odometer, whatever you want. So now I added, like let's say I wanna add this car, I wanna buy it, I wanna add it to the workbook. You can add it from here from the top, you can even add a lane alert to it. If you add an, a lane alert, it will send you a notification in the mobile app of Mannheim that the car is coming after three cars. So let's say you are on lane 10 and this car is on lane one. Uh, when, it, when the car is in the lane and it's about to get to the auctioneer where like the bit happens, it will send you a notification telling you that this car is coming up. So if you wanna share this car with a client without sharing MMR or anything, you can click on retail view, okay? You can email it, print it, okay? And that's basically it, it gives you the conditions. So if you wanna see more about the condition report, you click on condition report, you will see this is 1.3, that's a poor condition, that means the car it has 27 damages here. So this is actually new here on the on the dashboard they didn't actually have much detail like this before so now you have 27 damages you have structural damage it has a structural damage prior paint so the car is damaged here auto check i'm sure so you see more details here you can click to see the areas the pictures so this is basically how to access the condition report so now we added a car to the uh, workbook we checked the condition report. We know how to enter the sale, to go and bid on the car, okay? Here's the lane number, the date, okay? And the time and the location. So everything like basically is still the same here, but they changed the layout of how the condition report looks like and everything. So if I go to Man my Mannheim and you wanna check on your workbook, I click, I click on my workbook. And this is how it looks like. Okay, you, if you wanna print it, you click print. If you wanna export it as an Excel sheet, you can export it as an Excel sheet. If you wanna remove this card from your workbook, you click here. So for, for me, I used to do it this way. So if I wanna do like a print it, I would do the run list because it, it puts you the car in order uh, when it comes to the run numbers. So let's say on lane one, lane two, lane three, and the auction by distance. So let's say I'm bidding in uh, Riverside or Washington or Colorado, they put you the local auctions before the further auctions. So I usually do the run list view. I'll print it out, I run the Killy Blue book, the Carfax, everything. I book uh, the pricing, how much I'm gonna pay for it. And I will go in the morning and bid on the cars and make sure not going over the price that I'm looking to actually buy it for and you do your market analysis you do your homework before you actually buy the car because you want to buy a car that's on high demand and 
you wanted to make sure that after you spend your a thousand fifteen hundred dollars of recon you're not going above and you you are actually making money so be careful do your homework make sure your workbook is organized uh, you write down you run the carfax run whatever maybe auto check and you write all your numbers before you get to the auction or uh, in the morning you go online you're organized you have every all the numbers right in front of you and if you have a car that passes by and you like it and you didn't do your homework on it do not get excited there is so many cars in the auction sometimes if you go ahead and buy it you might buy a bomb so just stick to whatever you have stay organized and make sure your numbers are right so to make sure you're making money you're in the business to make money so don't get super excited and just buy cars because they look nice so if i click here let's say run list okay this is how it shows so see my home riverside october 1st Mannheim riverside october 1st and it goes by the run number this is one two six thirty so lane one run two lane six run thirty okay so if i come down here and let's say i bought some cars now this is you need to pay attention because this is the that where they made the major changes to so instead of purchases there was like a tab that says purchases here it's now it says post sale management so if you click on post sale management and you click on purchases you can actually choose the range let's say custom date and i will do from let's say the beginning of this year whatever and then click submit you will see all the cars that have been bought. If you want to get the invoice or the bill of sale or the gate pass, you click on here. You can choose them. The gate pass is not available. It's been, it's been out for a long time. You can email them to yourself, okay? Or you can view them. If you click on a view PDF, you will get this view. This is the bill of sale. You don't see the buy fee in here. In the invoice, you would see the buy fee. He's paying $715 on it. So yeah, the buy fees are going crazy. So basically most of the dealers are working for Cox communication now, right now. So that's why you see these ridiculous prices. So if I go back here, let's say uh, you want to floor the car. You can choose the vehicles here that you want to floor it or you want to pay for it and you click make a payment so i don't have all these cars are paid so i don't have any cars to pay and this is an old account actually i'm just doing doing it for the purpose of the video so you click on here make a payment and you can go and make the payment using your floating line or using your a credit card or you know whatever like ach or everything you arrange with Mannheim. if you want it says here left the lot shipped not eligible for like you know transportation sometimes they offer free transportation and this is deal shield deal shield is basically a protection you buy on the vehicle it gives you like uh, seven days 14 days 21 days to be able to return the car with no question asked sometimes they do it on every car you buy if you have that program which is they add another trans between 175 to 300 dollars a vehicle so basically you buy the car you pay the the buyer fee which is seven hundred dollars plus three hundred dollars or two hundred fifty dollars it's like nine fifty dollars so i don't know if it's worth it but if you do your homework you don't need the deal shield because you uh you actually uh, basically save the two hundred dollars and plus make sure you're buying from people who are legit uh try to buy from banks from big franchise uh some legit wholesalers which is there are a few so yeah so this is basically the how to arrange and how to uh, manage your uh, purchases after okay payments you click on payments here shows you the payments you completed pending overpayment credits okay so it's 
this is actually simple here. Set a summary, it, it tells you about your account, how much you owe, how much you don't owe, and you can switch the accounts if you have two dealerships. So this is basically it. If you have any question, you can give me a call, give the company a call here. Anybody can help you. All the guys here are car guys. Our phone number is 949-923-0190. Or you can drop us a line at support at I look, I look forward to hearing from you. And thank you for watching. Thank you so much.